Hey gang, Wayne McPhail here. I just wanted to talk today about the Pogo plug. I've mentioned this on Twitter and some, some folks have asked about it. It looks like a, a big fat wall adapter or power adapter, but in fact it's a way of sharing a, a USB drive or, or several USB drives on the internet with zero configuration. So at the back here is the uh, Ethernet port and there's also a USB port. So this is a one terabyte uh, USB drive, so let's see, and I can just take that and plug it into the uh, pogo plug, then I plug the pogo plug into the wall and into my uh, home network, and then I go on to the pogo plug, uh, mypogoplug.com site and uh, enter a serial number, and that actually registers this pogo plug with um, the pogo plug company. So then if I go on to the site, enter my uh, email address and a password, I'll be able to see this drive. And I, again, if I had put a USB hub here, I could have multiple drives on here, but I've actually downloaded the contents of a couple of my drives onto here so I can have access to a terabyte of information from any uh, computer that has web access and also from my iPhone. So this is the hardware side of the Pogo plug. Let's take a look now at what the interface looks like on my Mac and then also on my iPhone. So this is about $100 US. Uh, I bought one, got it in a couple of days, no problem. I plugged in the drive and it just worked seamlessly, perfectly. And uh, you'll see how, how great it looks on the Mac and, and the iPhone coming up next. So let's go over there and take a look. Thanks. So on my Mac, when I go to mypogoplug.com here and log in with my uh, email address and password, I see all the files that are sitting on that LACI drive. And you can see that I can actually upload files down here. I can uh, create a new folder, copy files, and I can share. So if I turn sharing on here, what this will do is it'll allow me to share particular directories. So here I have a directory that I want to share. I just click on that and now um, I can enter an email address for somebody I want to share it with and I can actually create an RSS feed so somebody can actually subscribe to that folder and see the changes that take place. So it's pretty powerful. So on the desktop that's what it looks like. Let's take a look at what it looks like on my uh, iPhone. So here's my iPhone. This is the uh, Pogo plug application down here and if I tap it. It's going to fire up. It's going to log in with my uh, email address or my uh, password. And there's the drive, the C drive. You can see the files I'm sharing shared with me from other folks as well and uh, stuff that's on my iPhone. But let's just go here. So now it's firing up. There we go. So there is, I've actually got two drives that I've uh, put on the one drive there. Um, so if I go into my spare drive, I can see that I've got access to all my documents that are sitting on there um, so it's pretty pretty powerful I can go into folders these are these are things that um, you know I created a long time ago um, it'll open up JPEGs um, it'll open up PDFs it'll open up uh, uh, doc files uh, it'll actually play movie files uh, it'll open up PNG files as you can see there so it's really uh, pretty cool uh, it'll open up pictures of dogs um, very, very powerful. And actually, if there's movies on the uh, the drive, it'll actually play the drive, the the movie. So I'm just going to go back here um, and scroll through. And uh, I've got a file called Little Movies, and these are movies that I made quite a while ago um, that um, I've just stored away. So I've just clicked on one of them. And this is Potruff Cave. Sending into it now. This little movie I made of a little cave in Hamilton. So as you can see, it's, it gives me not only access to my files, but actually streaming access to movie files. I could also play uh, QuickTime, uh, anything QuickTime and MP3 files as well. So very, very uh, powerful tool. Talk to you later. I'm Wayne McPhail. Bye-bye.